Hello friends, um, now we're going to see how to create a Spring project to make an Ajax request and which returns a JSON object back to the UI. So using Spring 3.0, then we have an Eclipse editor. And uh, the important thing is you need to have a Jackson framework in the class path. So here I use Spring STS as a tool, as an editor, and then the Spring 3.0 framework. And it's quite simple. We can create this application requirements if you are good in uh, how, understanding how the Spring 3.0 framework works. So I'm not going to take anything deep on the Spring framework, but right now, if you are familiar with the Spring framework, this will be very easy. Otherwise, we need to go back and find how the Spring 3.0 framework can be configured. So this is a Spring source tool, and which where we by default we get a Spring framework. What I already created the project here. Um, what you can do is go create a new project, or then you need to select Spring template project. Then you have to select Spring MVC project and then create a project just with a desired name which one it's on it's on your choice but right now I have a project here it's so called JSON Ajax and rest so I'm going to show you how to configure this I have a Java file here which is like controller it's a configured controller so the spring framework will identify it as a controller class and now it's dynamic this ajax json controller so i have two methods here two mappings the one is for default mapping so i by default i'm going to call a home page and this is another method which is a rest kind of rest framework so the rest you are will be called and just we get the message back whatever we pass and we'll append hello to that and return back and for that this is this is the framework configurable class there you have a controller annotated controller and the method level you have a mapping which is the mapped value so here I call this ajax json request and then you have a simple request goes get parameter which been passed from the UI and then to the HTTP request now I'm going to append the string hello to that and return back and that's all with the class file what we have here so now we have to go back to the web application here where we have this web apps folder under where we have a source and then go to the bind of we have some spring dependency stuff here and the configured over here in the servlet context.xml and so we are not going to see anything on that because when you create spring projects you no know, it's almost it's it's by default it gets generated and if you see under views I have a home.jsp which will be loaded as a default page because you see here I'm going to return this home in when the page loads when the application loads so this page will be by default loaded so here I have a form a simple form which has one text box saying that then where we type the message or whatever the text we, text we type in the text box and then hit the button so the this is an HTML button and the on click he's going to call this method this is an jQuery method uh, JavaScript framework so we have a method URL which is pointing to the the method which we configured just before in, the, in this class so this this is the configured frame framework path so I mean the configured controller method mapping 
and this is how we call the method from the UI so this JSON is the application name and Ajax JSON request is the method mapping so once we call that we're going to call it on a dot Ajax jQuery API then we call it just a type as a get get type so it's something like same as method level um, get and post and then it's the URL the method URL which is hard coded here and the next one is the data what the data you're going to pass the server that is the form data which is uh, now identified using the element ID so the ID is Ajax form which is supplied here and then we're going to serialize that so this means this line of code means it's going to serialize the enter form and it is identified as a data now so it's like a serialized data now we're going to pass the function and this function internally calls this this URL and then pass the serialized data so if it is a success message you're going to see this JSON message ID over here that's a span where I'm going to put this return message and that's all so right now I'm going to run a build this is a Maven application hopefully um, I, I, I assume that you guys know how how a Maven works I'm not going to even that here so we have the palm XML let me open that and the uh, one configuration you have to add to this file is you need to add um, Jackson so this Jackson will identify the uh, JSON parameters and then it can return back as a, a JSON format like how the JSON format is it just returns back the text if you have any um, kind of map or something which you can return from the Java class it, it, it can give back in a JSON format so right now I'm going to build this and we'll see what happens so just right click on that run as maven clean initially you're going to clean the project then run the maven install which will install the war file right now because it's a web application and once on successful runs once it runs successfully then you're going to run this as run a server i use a fabric server so this is a default server just need no need any any just just need a server which can support the jdb request response so now i'm going to run this on that server all right let's see So what I have a small logger system dot dot println then that system will get print when I call this URL so right now it's initializing the application yeah here we go so it's up and running yep now this is a text box which I was talking about and we're gonna type something in this text box and then hit this button is going to call this method this function JavaScript function and then it's going to post this to the URL which is configured as a controller mapping and then it returns the method back <coughs> sorry so let's see what happens now so I got to type a name here And they're gonna hit this button let's see what happens so we got the message back as hello John Doe so this is a logger what we saw in the server so this works fine so this is a simple way you can make an Ajax request to the uh, server and the server is basically I would say a rest framework then it prints back the message as a JSON format and the JSON format is being displayed into the user interface so it's very simple I um, just want to show you how the framework which can be configured to use in a simple application where you can use jQuery Ajax spring framework and rust URLs right 
So I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, let me know. I share my number, um, the email ID over here. So please go to that and reply to me. Thanks. Thanks for watching this. Bye.